What's going on everyone? And as you can see, we have this very specific situation going on right now, which means that we have the iPad as well as Mac or some kind of laptop right next to each other. And let's say I want to mirror my iPad screen to the Mac, to the laptop using a USB cable. How is that possible? How is the, how does that actually work? First of all, what you need to do obviously is a cable which is gonna be able to be connected between these devices. If you have an iPad like this one, this is the iPad Pro. It is equipped with the USB-C and Mac is with the USB-C as well, obviously. So for that, you're gonna need the double-sided USB-C cable. So when you go in and do that, make sure that the cable that you use is long enough so you can actually use it properly and make sure that you can also like spread the devices apart a bit. So yeah, that's gonna work. I'm gonna connect it right now. You can see right now the devices are connected. You'll perhaps be asked to trust that device in case you haven't paired them before, but in case you, you use them or connect them a lot, then you will probably not be able to or not be prompted to trust them or click anything. Now, in this case, all you have to do is to move over to your Mac and open up the QuickTime app. So you can see QuickTime application is right here. I'm going to be able to open it up like this. I can close the window and all I have to do is to click on the file at the top and you have the option to start a new movie recording, audio recording or screen recording. So tap on movie recording like this and this is gonna probably activate my front facing camera once it loads up. You also have the option to start recording with the button right here or click on the other button next to it. So you can decide to use the camera from these devices. You can use the microphone from these devices, but you also have the screen. So tap on the screen from the iPad, which is connected. When you click on the screen, you need to allow the access. So allow like that. And you can see right now I am mirroring the screen of my iPad right on the Mac. So that's how it works. That's how I can use it. It's a very simple and everything that I do in here also shows up on the Mac. There is a little delay, but that's okay, of course. In case you want to, you can also just start the recording and record the screen of your iPad if you want to, so you can save it for the future. That's about it. That's how you, you can actually mirror the screen to a Mac. Now, it is kind of simple when you have the same devices. So yeah, you, you have a device from Apple and another device from Apple, but in case you have a PC computer, it's not going to be that simple. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a hundred percent free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and and check out that link, it's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Because if you have a Windows laptop, let's say, you're not gonna be able to use the QuickTime and connect it that way. In this case, what you'll have to do is to download a third-party app. On a Windows laptop, I would recommend you to download some kind of third-party app. The one that I like to use, or which I personally tried out in the, in the past, is called A Power Mirror. So you can see that it opens it up inside of the App Store for me, but you can also just download it for Windows and iPhones, iPads, whatever, and download it for your PC, laptop, and also download it on your iPad. In this case, you're going to be able to mirror your screen using a third-party tool, which I personally tried out. I tried mirroring even my uh, uh, my computer screen back to my phone, which was really useful. So you can do it in multiple different directions. Just download it and install it, look it up, make sure that it works together. And that's how you can, you're going to be able to get it to work. The app in and of itself is a bit more nuanced. So I'm not doing an entire tutorial on that, but you can see you can mirror Mac to TV. You can mirror many devices together. So this app is one which I tried personally. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think that this one is, is good, but also there are other apps available which are going to do the very same thing. So for example, you can see, you can mirror iOS screen to PC without or using the internet, whatever, however you want to use it, many of options available. So yeah, definitely check it out in case you have a PC laptop or something. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos like this one. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.